So my philosophy for skincare and in my private practice is that less is more. I created MZ Skin to be a concise and precise capsule collection of core ingredients that you need uh, for the best skin regimen without too much of a fuss, with having a beautiful sensory experience, and also getting the, the core ingredients that you need for better skin. In my practice, I have a similar approach. I do think less is more. We are moving away from having the more obvious treatments where people look like they've had injectables or they've had surgery to a more natural appearance. However, many people who may appear natural are not. Uh, they have had small tweaks along the way and that is where aesthetic medicine and what I do is very crucial. It's important to go to somebody who you trust who can talk you through the process and who has a high degree of specialization as well. And the importance of that is because things are great until they're basically not. And it's the complications and the ability to treat complications where expertise comes in as well. So it's not only how the treatment te technique is done, but it's also the aftercare. I do also think that unfortunately there is a lot of misconception on what can and cannot be achieved. You can have a beautiful non-surgical uh, result if you have realistic expectations. So in my opinion, it's not really about getting rid of all the lines and wrinkles. It's about having the most beautiful skin that you can for your age and having the most beautiful glow that you can have for your age. And in your 20s, it's different than when you're in your 60s. You want to age gracefully, uh, but also the best way that you can. And so it all starts with the canvas, which is the skin. So taking care of your skin is hugely important for later on in life. And then along the way, that's when you have these little small tweaks, whether it's a little bit of laser or radio frequency or an injectable to help decrease the appearance of certain lines that are caused with movement, or you've had some volume loss. You can do small little tweaks that can help make you look fresh. And that's the idea, not different. We're looking for better, not different. Uh, and that's my ethos also as, as well with surgery. My philosophy on aging, well, uh, unfortunately it's a fact of life. We all will be aging. The idea behind it is to look as best and feel as best as we can along the way. And sometimes looking well makes you feel better. So you're, you're having a better quality of life. So. I think it's important to note that beauty and aging is not just what you see on the outside, it is also what you see on the inside. This is determined by a healthy lifestyle, which means good nutrition, keeping hydrated, exercising, sleeping well, having a way to cope with stress, and trying to uh, be realistic about what you can and can't do. So I think expectations are hugely important, and in order to have uh, a better chance at aging, let's just say, uh, the happier you are, the better you always will look.